What's going on out there? Crazy D Massive. This is Crazy D. You're watching Crazy D TV. I'm sitting here with Jeff Sattler, one of the actors from the 48 hour uh, film fest short movie by Deontay Trundle entitled Wait. How you doing? How you doing? All right, all right. So, first of all, before we get into the role that you play, mm -hmm. how long have you been acting? How did you get started? Tell it started, uh, I started modeling uh, through college. I was 21 years old. Uh, started doing some modeling. Uh, and then I decided midway through my career, I'm, I'm 43 now, so uh, decided to maybe go into the uh, commercial acting end of things. So uh, I thought in order to do that, I need, need a little practice. So I started uh, taking acting classes, went to acting schools, uh, started to learn to read some dialogue. And uh, once I felt I was up, up to par, I started uh, switching over to the commercial modeling end of things. Mm -hmm. uh, I met uh, Deontay through a networking party for the 48 hour mm -hmm. uh, project. And uh, we got to talk a little bit and he, he thought maybe he could use me for uh, maybe a, a role in this and uh, we kept in contact and sure enough here I am that's why I'm here here today. So tell me um, besides uh, the dialogue what is the difference that you see between being a model and being an actor because in both cases it has to do with looks and applying right. your looks to the craft but what do you think besides right. the dialogue it, what's it, the difference? It's much harder <laughs> it's much harder I know that Mm -hmm. Modeling, you can just kind of, it, it's still a long process and an all-day affair, but uh, as far as the acting end of it, uh, it's definitely a skill, uh, and it takes a few things uh, here and there, and uh, even with the commercial modeling, uh, it's a little, it, it's pretty smooth, but with the acting, to actually say the di dialogue and actually act it out, mm -hmm. uh, it's much harder, because you're, you're thinking about your lines, and you're, you have to act as well, so it's, it's kind of, you, you have to multitask. Uh, yeah, which makes it much more difficult for me, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it takes practice. So it, it took us several, you know, takes, you yeah, know, to get it right, to get, to get it down. Yeah. Because in acting, most people don't realize they feel they can grab a camera, right. and they can just jump right into it. And yeah. think sometimes what is natural in real life, you have right. to set up an expression for it, right. or a body movement for it, yes. and then deliver the line. Like you, if yeah. you want to be if you're shocked, you're not going to automatically just jump into it. Like, right. It's very intimidating mm -hmm. knowing that it's live and that, uh, you know, there's a live camera on you and, uh, and you got the boom mic over your head and you got the camera in front of you uh, and several people around you. So you're, you're uh, intimidated by everyone watching. You don't want to screw up or mess up. You don't want to hold things up. So you're, you're trying to get it right. Sometimes you overthink it. A little bit, and you, you, it, it's a little bit overboard. And you gotta just kind of relax and and be a little more natural with it. So you play along with Julie. I'm with Julie. The, yes. In the yeah. weight uh, right. short film for Correct. the 48 hour contest. Um, tell them what your character is about from your perspective. After you read the lines, yeah. What is the character really about? Uh, well, I play uh, Mark in the. Uh, in the short film, and um, the character, I'm pretty much a, a simple guy, uh, no thrills. Um, I, I seem to be kind of maybe a boring uh, spouse or partner, and uh, you can kind of tell maybe that she's a little bit irritated with my, my blandness. Yeah, this restaurant's always good. Trusty Stephanie, you always go there. And uh, I, I think I've gotten used to our relationship and we need to, she kind of wants to spice things up. It's uh, getting pretty monotonous for her, uh, doing the same things over and over, going to the same restaurants. Everything's always the same with her and she wants to maybe spark things up in our relationship. So, uh, you know, I, when I'm in the film, I, I want to take her out to the same restaurant that we've all, you know, always have gone to. And, that she's pretty much like, hey, look, you know, how about being a little more spontaneous? You know, let, let's get things rolling here. So and, all uh, of a sudden, you become spontaneous. I become spontaneous. Now, my yeah. question is, we don't yeah. give too much away. <laughs> right, right. To see the film. Yeah. Okay. But do you think 
afterwards. Does he take her still to the same restaurant? No, he doesn't take her to the same restaurant, and it, it, it's pretty much up to the individual watching the, the film where he actually takes her and what he does. So okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll leave that up to them, yeah. Right. So uh, what else do you want to say to the people like uh, where they can reach you? They can reach me. I have an email at jsad, J-S-A-D, at gmx.com. And uh, they can find me there. And uh, if you need me, uh, I'll get back to you right away. <laughs> All right, that's it. Right here on the set of Wait, this is Jeff Sattler, Crazy D, Crazy D TV. And we're out.